Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Moonbo here, coming at you with another episode of Scrap Mechanics Suggested Creations. Uh, you know, the, the whole series where I take your guys' suggestions and try my best to make them in Scrap Mechanic. So if you guys do have any suggestions, then make sure you guys throw them down in the comments below, and I'll try my best at making it eventually, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Uh, so in this episode though, guys, I have for you a kind of like a crane game, actually. So I'm hanging out with my little little buddy here. I, I made him as the prize in the crane game. Uh, but in this episode, guys, we're going to be having a look at the crane game. We're going to kind of go on about how it works and how I designed it, as well as trying my best anyway to grab some of those aliens and put them down the chute. Uh, so let's have a look at the, uh, the workings of it. So the way I designed this build is kind of weird, actually. I have a little access way here in the back that we can hop into. Um, and you can see on this bottom part of it, it's actually quite simple. There's really there's really nothing to, uh, to see here except for the connection tool. Uh, so as you can see, though, up there is the entire crane mechanism, uh, which is really just a whole bunch of bearings and thrusters. But we'll get a closer look at that in a moment, as well as a couple... Uh, controllers to control the uh, the mechanisms up there as well as the door that opens up the prize uh, so I have a chair right here that we can hop into and it'll pop us out right inside the machine here uh, so as you can see though uh, the uh, the crane mechanism looks kind of crazy um, I didn't know exactly how I was gonna make it I have seen some interesting track designs uh, that have been used before in scrap mechanic and those are absolutely fantastic but I guess I just wanted to kind of do it my way uh, so in this case here, I did end up using a whole bunch of thrusters. Uh, so you can see, um, I mean, it's hard to tell with the connection tool actually, so I'll put that away. Uh, but there's basically thrusters that are permanently pushing it up against the ceiling. And if I actually maneuver around these little aliens here, you can see that it's actually chained to the top of the box there. So it has a chain that holds it like kind of in place so you can't like f go down the walls or anything. Uh, so you'll get a good look at that actually once I'm in the seat. Uh, so in here though, I have put down uh, quite a few of these little aliens. I did actually have like a whole bunch of them. They were all piled up on top of each other and it got... Ooh, I'm stuck in him there. It got really laggy and uh, I had to kind of thin them out and maybe make it a little bit easier for me to, uh, to try and get some of them going. But I'm going to hop into the, uh, the seat there and uh, I think... I wonder if I can just jump through this glass actually I bet you I bet you I could probably do that let's try it out shall we ah there we go perfect <laughs> all right so the seat right here uh, has a few buttons that I've put uh, right out in front one thing I need to mention though is the thrusters that are pushing it up to the uh, to the top of the box there is that switch is actually hidden away you can see way down there I have boxed that one in so you can't accidentally turn it off because if you turn that off then the entire crane will drop down and it it's almost impossible to put back up without re-welding it to the connection point there on the chain. Uh, so let's uh, let's uh, kind of bring up the button scheme here, and and we'll try and grab some of these aliens. It's it's not that easy, and I wanted I wanted it to be a little bit difficult because if you imagine like a real crane game, you know sometimes it's like it feels like the thing is rigged. Uh, so basically, though, it has an A and D converter. So if you see here, I can press A and D, and that will spin the entire. Uh, the entire crane around from the top there which is where the hovering is taking place and if i change to the first person we'll probably actually get a better view here so there's a and d the keys uh, that spin it and there you can see the chain is actually kind of just floating around uh, it doesn't really get too much in the way uh, so w will press forward so if you see here i can kind of use it like a remote control hover mechanism essentially and it can circle around the the chain no problem uh, and there's also the one key, which is the reverse key. So sometimes you do end up using the one key in the forward way, uh, but usually I just spin it around and then use W like so. Uh, so it really, really crafty, I think. It was a, a weird way to design it. Uh, I just, I didn't have the savvy, I guess, to do the track system. Uh, so I ended up just doing a tethering kind of drone thing, uh, which is pretty cool. So the four key though, that's the key there that will close that little door so you can actually uh, open it up and get your prize. And then the two key puts the crane down like so, and you can see there's a bit of lag there. And the three key is what will close the arm so you can grab your prize. So I think we should try and uh, grab one of these and drop it down the chute. It's 
it's a lot of fun actually. And of course, I'm gonna be putting the uh, the uh, world download in the description there. So if you guys check the description, you'll see uh, the world download, so you guys can give this a shot. Uh, I haven't saved it on a lift because I don't I don't know how this crane arm would work on the lift. Uh, so I am now just kind of steering it along. I'm using the one key as the uh, the forward key. Uh, and I find it's not the easiest to use, and I feel like in real life, you know what, one of these crane mechanisms usually wouldn't be that easy. Alright, so we're gonna try it out. There's a bit of lag, but that's not too bad. This looks pretty good. Come on now. Alright, I'm grabbing it by the neck, and it looks successful. Oh, yes. It's honestly, I've tried to do this a few times, and I can't, I can't always get it. Alright, come on now. Let's see, is that, is that gonna work? I'm gonna drive this into the corner, open the arms, come on, get in there, yes, open it up! Oh yeah, look at that, I got one! You have no idea how happy that makes me, because it's not the easiest. Uh, so you can see here though, I have a chair, we can use that to pop up in here, grab the lift, and collect our prize. And there's another one, I think I'm gonna try for a third one, that's uh... That's pretty exciting, actually. Alright, I'm gonna shut the chute door there, and uh, try and maneuver this in place here. I think, I wonder, I see that one, the one right in the middle there. Let's, uh, let's uh, try and grab that one. So, I think if I turn it this way, and use the one key like that... Alright, no, I'm gonna have to go this way and use W, I think. There we go. Alright, it's getting close. Getting close. It's kind of tricky. Alright, this looks good. That looks good. Alright, let's drop it. No. I don't think we got it. I'm gonna try and wiggle it. And drop it. I'm, I'm using this system to my advantage here. Alright, bring it up. Come on. We got it, didn't we? Oh, barely. Come on now. Alright, I need to use the right keys here. Oh, am I gonna get another one just like that? I'm telling you, I had such a hard time until now. All right, here we go. Get in there. Oh my god, I got two in a row. You have no idea. Oh wow, look at that. Get that lift out. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I am actually kind of blown away at how easy I'm getting these. I mean, okay, you know what? They are kind of uh, right there in the open. Uh, so what if I shoot for four? Is that even a thing? What if this one right here, nice and close? I wonder if I can, uh, if I can wedge this into the corner. Is this... I don't think this is gonna be close enough. I don't even know if I can do it. Alright, here we go. Jam it. Move it over just a little bit more. Come on now. Here we go. Drop it down. Okay, it's kind of getting caught. Oh, wow, I am getting it. This is so much fun. Dr drop it off into the chute here. Come on, get in there. Oh, man, okay. Open that up. Oh, uh-oh, it, it's stuck in the chute. I can grab that. Oh, whoops. There we go, I can't believe that. I just got four of these. That is absolutely mind-blowing. You know what, though? Uh, you guys can definitely set these aliens up. The alien will be on the workshop, so I'll be putting a link in the description soon. Uh, but the world link, like I said, will be available, so you guys can try this out. Uh, you can set these aliens up inside the uh, box as difficult as you want, or as easy as you want. Uh, obviously, that was a little bit easier than I was expecting, but I'm not even gonna lie. I was trying this uh, at, right after I built it, and I was, I was having a little bit of a hard time doing it. Uh, so, honestly, uh, really happy with that. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video, though, and you do enjoy this crane game in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, so, like I said, though, put more suggestions in the comments, guys, and let me know what you thought of this build. Uh, if you want to hit that like button as well, you know it helps the channel out. And if you uh, haven't subscribed yet, you should definitely subscribe for more. Oh, and one more thing. The, the Navy ship, the warship. If you haven't seen that yet, you gotta check out the warship. Because there is now a link in this description right here. Go down to this description, and you will see the link for the hover warship, which is on the Steam Workshop. You gotta try it out. Uh, I'm so proud of that build. It's one of my favorite builds. But now, honestly, I think the Moon Crane might be one of my favorite builds now as well. Uh, so, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you tune back in tomorrow for another crane themed uh, world this one is going to be for scrap mechanic city i'm so excited to show it to you guys so thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one bye for now